Hello, I want to introduce to you Lead Smart Interactive Whiteboard. Interactive Whiteboard is a generic name. You know, we have different brands of interactive whiteboard. We have Smart Interactive Whiteboard. We have Promotion Interactive Whiteboard. We have Hitachi Interactive Whiteboard. And we also have Lead Interactive Whiteboard. Lead Interactive Whiteboard is one of the best smart interactive whiteboard you can get in Nigeria. On this video, I will show you why Lead Interactive Whiteboard is one of the best you can get for your school. And Lead Interactive Whiteboard is designed for all levels of education. I'm very perfect for business presentation. Once you have acquired the Lead Interactive Whiteboard, there are two components that you need to make it work. Number one of it is your multimedia projector. You can either have long throw multimedia projector or short throw multimedia projector. For, the, for this presentation, we are doing this presentation using short throw multimedia projector. Now, Lead Interactive Board comes in with a full package. Our full package is, you know, interactive board, multimedia projector, either long throw or short throw, and the multimedia speakers, pairs of multimedia speakers to you know for a very good sound. And it also comes with your um, pen holder, pen and remote holder. This is where we put all our pen and the remotes, okay? And then it also comes with a telescopic pen. This is a telescopic pen that you can use, you know, to make emphasis on the interactive board if you don't want to be close or block the sight of the student. And this pen can also be reduced and used as a normal writing pen. Now on the connectivity, the interactive whiteboard, you know, is connected to your laptop via USB cord. That is only what, you know, how this board connect to power. You can connect lead interactive board directly to power. And also that helps this board not to have any power issues at all. What you are seeing here now is my computer. All right. So whatever I'm going to be doing here can also be seen, done, duplicated on my computer. Okay. Now the projector is also connected to the laptop. You see, so those, these two items, projector interactive board is connected to your laptop. Your laptop must have the smart board, that is lead smart board software. Okay, so this software must be installed in your laptop. And once that is successfully done, you are going to see two icons of this software on your computer home screen. One of the icons you are going to see is the lead whiteboard. That is a whiteboard software. The second one is the lead calibration software. You know, once that is successfully done, these two software will appear on your home screen. The first thing you have to do after installation is to run your calibration, which is done once. Now I want to show you how to calibrate lead interactive whiteboard. Double tap on the calibration. You just click on yes then i have calibrated the board before but i have to clear that calibration now watch my finger you have to put place your finger in the center of the circle Now your calibration is successful, then you click on OK, then you cancel. But once our calibration is done, you are free to manipulate your computer directly from this interactive whiteboard. And today, I want to show you um, the, the function of all these buttons, all these signs you are seeing here, what you can do with them. These are called the hot keys, right? If you don't want to pick your pen from here, you can decide to pick your pen here. 
my pen. This is another kind of um, highlighting pen to highlight. This is another pen, side of pen. This is brush pen. Then here is my eraser. This is, you know, forward and backward. And this is my calibration. This is my online key board. Then this is to cover the board. That's the cutting to cover the board. If you want, they don't want students to see what is on the interactive board. You can use this to cover it up. Here is it. Mm -hmm. This is spotlight. Then this is the settings. Now here you have also where you can get, you know, have your um, your page size. You have cuts. You have copy and paste. You have hide. You hide the screen. Okay. Hide the screen. Then you have um, sleep. The board goes to sleep. Okay. Then you have tutorial. If you want to know more about in, um, lead interactive whiteboard, then you have um, preference here. How you want the size of your pen, and then how you want the, the length of the that is a whiteboard, the size of the whiteboard, and your settings. Then these all the things you can get here. Then here you can get your multi users. So you can set it on multi users. It can also now it's on single. You can only recognize one finger. You can only recognize one finger when you use more than. More than one fingers, you will move the entire board. But if you want to write, only one finger can be recognized. Or you can set it to multi-user, where you can have up to 20 fingers writing on this board simultaneously. Then here, you have your scan code. If you really want to share what you have on the board to your, to your phone. Then here is your podcast. If you want to record, the entire program, I click on the podcast, then whatever I'm doing on this interactive board will be recorded. Then um, the last one, which is to quit. You have already quit the entire program. Then here you have your whiteboard, which already we are on the default whiteboard. This sign is the called is called Canva. We are the face, the surface of the board is split into four. And you can reduce it into two, you know, two boards or three different boards. This is this is board one, this is board two, this is board three, this is board four. I can reduce it to two board one and the board. Then we come back here, you have already gone back to your normal white board. Then here is if you want to go to on, on web, you want to search something on internet if your system is connected to internet. Then here is my document. If you click on this, everything you've done will you know, it can, these all the things we've done earlier on the board. When you click on that uh, document, it can open any document of your choice. Things we have already done on the interactive board, on lead interactive board. And the beauty of it is that whatever you've done on this board is automatically saving on the board portal. Then here, you have show desktop. When I click on show desktop, it will take me to my desktop. The purpose, the function of that particular um, application is to enable me annotate on any surface at all. 
I can switch from the interactive board to um, internet and they do my searching. All right, whatever I want to search. For instance, um, let's go to internet and search for, for something. So we are going to, to the internet. This is an internet, okay? Then you can annotate on any of this. You can annotate on any of this. You can write on any of this, okay? And then as well, clean. Now, with these features, I can decide to, uh, you know, to pick information or picture from this screen and they bring it to my interactive board bring it to my interactive board this is what you no know, information the picture we picked from interact from the website you 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 upload it for the purpose of you know teaching and so that is the function of this then here is my pen colors. Um, I want to show you how to choose your color, selecting your color. Selecting your pen color. Your pen. If you look at this, this not this sign, you can see red. When you touch on the red. You can see red. Then here you have your blue. Then my green pen. Then my yellow pen. Then I can clean this thing that I've done using my backhand. You don't need to. Uh, Clicking, comment here to choose your. If you like, you can also use come over here and you choose your eraser. But um, I choose to clean using my backhand. Then here is how to reduce my pen size. How to increase or reduce. My fonts is how to reduce my font. Now, if you click on this place, you can see the font is very small. Then you click here to increase it a bit. Then you click here to make it bigger. Then you click here to choose this font size of your choice how to clean your board then here if you point on uh, at this place you can select a little you know smaller size of eraser you click on this place bigger size of eraser then when you click here, it becomes bigger size of eraser. Then click on this place. You can click here to wipe the, clay, the board entirely. How to change How to change background. Now, I want to show you it's very easy to use Lead Smart Interactive Board. Now, when you look at this, you will see background. Just click on it, you see different background. You already on this is the default plain whiteboard. Then, if you click on this place here, you see your table or your graph sheet, and then you can increase this or reduce. You can increase, 
using your two fingers to increase this or reduce it. Then here, you have this. You can also increase or reduce. This is how the, 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 you know, where you teach, uh, teach uh, children how to write. If you want to show them how to write, this is the place you can use to show them how to write. You can do that. A, B, C, D, E. So I want to show them how to write, you know, um, on their book, how to write without, you know, crossing the line. So you can use this particular page or background to do so. Then you have blackboard. If you want to change from white to blackboard, then you just click on this place and then change your pen color. Here we have black board. Blackboard. You can decide to use your white pen on a black on a blackboard. Remember, as always said, you don't necessarily need to come over here to pick your eraser. Your backhand is always there to enable you, you know, erase and continue writing. Erase and continue writing. Then you have graphs on a blackboard. This is your background where you can also teach students how to write their a, B, like how to write in skill. Use this background to learn writing skill. Then here, you can always select any or import background of your choice or you use this place to create background of your choice. Okay, here is on to undo, to redo, which you have it, you have the same thing you have in your system. Then here is my blank page. How to select my blank page? Then previous page, next page, previous, all the things we've done, next page. Then here is to clean the entire board. Then this is all you have on this side. Then when you look at down, what we have here is equally what we have in this place. Here is my pen. This is another different type of pen. Then here is my, my brush pen, my eraser, to pick two, to drag the entire board, zoom in, zoom out. Then my highlights, my street line, street line, my street line. Here, yeah, if I want to write, you no know, um, letters. Okay, if I want to type, this is where I'm going to type. Then my keyboard, online keyboard. That is all we have in this aspect of interactive board. Now today, I'm going to show you how to open, you know, a blank page where you can write as if you are writing on your marker board or your chalkboard. So with this interactive board, you don't need to have your marker board on except you just need to have it for the purpose of assignment though some schools do install lead interactive whiteboard and also install a, an assignment to by its magnetic whiteboard by the side now let me show you how to open a blank page on interactive board tap twice on the whiteboard lead whiteboard software once that is done this blank page, your whiteboard is you no know, will open. Okay, and on this page, you can write either using your finger or using your pen. 
For instance, I choose red color. I can say That's okay. You can use your backhand to wipe what you have written. Then I want to show you the interesting part of Lead Smart Interactive Board. One of the interesting parts of Lead Smart Interactive Board are having applications because Lead Smart Interactive Board comes with you know very, you know, all the necessary scientific resources that you can think of, okay? If you are a math teacher, you can have resources for your class. If you're a biology teacher, you rest assured you have enough resources to teach. If you're a, a physics teacher, enough resources is there to teach. But I want to show you where these resources are. And this is one of the things that make this board unique from all the competing brands. Let me show you. When you click on this place, you will see my computer, audio, movies, pictures, and animations, interactions, applications, shapes, favorite, web search, bookmark, and your trash. Then this is my computer, which I have here, but I want to start from the sound. This is, you know, um, sound. When you drag and you play, that is the sound. You can ask it, a student, you know, to name, identify the animal that makes this sound. This is the second one. The second one. Then you click on this place to go back. Here is your movies. If you have all your movies you want to um, use to teach in the classrooms, you can upload them, you know, on that. Uh, uh, or that application. Then you have my pictures. This is animals. Drag and drop. Drag and drop. Drag and drop. Drag and drop. So these are the pictures. You know, you have enough. Almost all the animals you can think of. They are here. So you can use this to teach by calling students one after the other to come and label these animals, okay? To label these animals. You can increase the size, rotate. You can increase, rotate. Then you have animations, biology, games, mathematics, and the sciences. When you click on this, you have, you know, multiple biology animations. What you have to do is just to drag and then draw. Drag and draw. This is your adult Aleria Aleria? You can see that perfectly well. You can read the signs. Side view, label. So these are all the applications. This is my the life cycle. Life cycle.
Can you have games? So these are all the applications you can get from this interactive board. Many of them, all right? These are sciences. These are sciences. Is the earth. Then, you double tap on the whiteboard software, it will open. Now, I am free to write on this interactive whiteboard. I choose my pen, red, and I said, lead smart interactive board. You see, I am using my pen. I can also use choose to use my finger to write on this interactive board. Let me show you. I've changed, increased my pen size. The best interactive board. For education and business presentation. Now I have written on this board using my, my you know, bare finger. So you can either use your stylus pen or you use your finger. And then if you come in terms of cleaning this board, I can use my back backhand to clean the interactive board. Or I simply move this, slide it up and continue writing on the board. If you don't want to clean the board, you just push this up, then continue your writing. is my my birthday then you touch here and do this now I can open a new page okay I can open a new page then you can also continue to write so I want to show you how easy it is to annotate using lead interactive whiteboard you can annotate on the video you can capture a moment and bring it on the interactive board you can annotate on your pdf file pictures on anything at all let me show you as i said earlier when you click on this you see your home page now you can write on your home page Lead smart board. Download it on your home page as well. Clean with your back finger. You can also so you can actually write on a playing video. Is it? 
You can actually play no right on a playing video. This is the player, the goal post. Then also claim. Then I want to capture a moment. What will I do? I click on this place, click here. You can see that this is the picture. Then come back here, you go back to the board. Okay, you can screenshot the entire screen by clicking on this place. Here is the entire screen. You screenshot the entire screen. Then to delete, you tap on it and you delete. You can also use this to teach in the classroom. All right, like you get a picture from the internet and bring it on interactive board to teach. For instance, if you're a football um, coach, you can use this ball to train your student. Like this is the ball. Here is the ball. Then you can now analyze all these players. This is the, this is the referee. All right, really you know, okay, then you go back here. Is and I remember how I showed you the two things you can do. You can take a picture, you can take a picture by highlighting the area you want to capture, then bring it to interactive board, then analyze it. This is the keeper, the goal. Keeper. Yes. So, this is an internet. So, you can annotate on any surface at all. Okay. So, that is one of the beauty of this board. Ability to annotate on any surface. Even on internet, it could be a, a website. It could be a different software you can take picture from videos you have on your computer and bring it you know, to interactive board here is another video You see that? So you're writing on a playing video. You can clean it as well. Well, they're acting like the future now. Just give me a little applause. I need to go outside and help maybe put up these Christmas decorations like a mountain. Can you see that? So you can. There is the eyes. Out. Nose. Ear. No. The lips. You can select, tap, delete. Select, delete. Tap, delete. So, that is all about annotation. Now, let me show you how you can record the screen. You know, you can record your handwriting, at the same time record your video simultaneously. Now, the first thing you have to do is to come to lead then click on podcast once you click on podcast you will see this sign okay you see this sign here you bring it just drag it to a point okay it's already recording so everything you are going to do everything can be recorded and the playback so this is what we have recorded
this interactive world, what we've done, all the things we've done will be recorded, even the sound. If you listen very carefully, you can hear the sound. These are all the things you've done on the board when the podcast was on. So you can see they are all playing back. See, it records both voice. If you listen, you can hear the sound. Everything can be recorded. Play back. Mm -hmm. 